Hello, everybody. Welcome Keyboard back. It's Wizard 100, and with me here is Hitman. Yes. Yes, Hitman. and we're finally back through uh, talking, commentating more on uh, Sanitarium. So previously, we were playing as Sarah as we went through uh, the island of uh, the Strand island. island. Yes. Yeah, the, the deserted island, going through uh, underground, fighting the uh, Squid Boy, and saying, "See you in hell, freak." <laughs> that was that was a good one. <laughs> Your reaction to it was priceless. I did, did not expect. I did not expect. Even though I've seen this before, I did not expect to see you in Hell Freak from the little girl. I don't know how you forget that, but I guess you did because uh, it was like what? I don't know, man. This game. I remember a few things about this game, but that was not one of them. Obvious. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, through that tunnel, we got back to uh, this house that Sarah saw in the previous level. Now, you might be wondering why this wasn't included in the previous part. Well, I like to think this is its own segment, too. And now we're seeing right. apparitions of, like, people of whoever they may be. Right. This is These are Max's memories being acted out in yes. Sarah's body again. Once again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, and it's uh, pretty much that Sarah died, if I recall correctly. Pretty much. It, this shouldn't Sam be feels guilty, or Max feels guilty about it. Based on that apparition where, like, his father was like, Max, there was nothing you could do, so, yeah, it's no big spoilers. Although... What are you going to do with the rotten food? I or, don't or know. Did you, or did you just open and close it? You didn't take any food. I, I think this is, like, an empty space where nothing happens. Like, you can interact with it, but you don't really affect anything. It's just Max trying to piece his memory together, as you can see, like, distortion yeah. in the house. Oh, 6 o'clock. I wonder, does that have any significance... Yeah, so this level was... What's so uh, shocking about 6 o'clock? Uh, I don't know, American 66... Or Westerner 666? <gasps> the, the, the number of the feast instead of the beast. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this yeah. level is uh, relatively kind of... Well, well, like the coloring in this level, kind of dull-ish. But like, in, in terms of gameplay, but story-wise, you learn more about what, what was going on in Max's... Uh, Mind. Yeah, so, I mean, we're we're setting up all the you know aspects. We've got Max feel Max depressed, feeling guilty. We've got the strained, strained marriage, well, strained parents? like sort of loveless marriage. Yeah. Yeah, very stressful. Very like um, it felt very responsible, but it's like it's one of those nothing they can do. Right, like you have a you have a fight that's really not about what you're fighting about, you know, but it's just because you're mad at each other for another reason. Like you just had, they just have like, they just need to vent it out somehow. But they're not doing it very well, and they just put it on each other. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what the the meaning of the twisting around walls. It's probably just because he doesn't remember. I, I'd, I'd say actually, exactly. I'd say distortion in his memory. Like I don't, I know there was something here, but I don't remember what. So I walk around the place trying to trigger trigger all the ghosts to, or ghost apparitions to appear, or yeah. memories to say that. There's a, there's a few areas that are kind of useless that don't have any uh, point. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that clock. I thought, uh, do you have to unlock the clock and then set yeah. it to 6 o'clock so something will happen? Yes, where uh, it somehow causes a certain event to happen, which in turn, which it kind of doesn't make sense if you think about it, because this is a memory, right, or so? So why is it like it required certain puzzles to unlock parts of it or... I don't know. This is exactly. This is actually exactly like jazz punk, where you you move around the hands on a clock, and all of a sudden it's just like later in the day, and everyone oh. thinks it's time for lunch. And then they talk about their wives and kids. You think that guy was uh, Max's father? Probably. Birdhouse. I'm expecting a, a remix from you by the end of this. Oh, you will see a remix up by the end of this. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, see, it's locked. And, so is it uh, Max saying, oh, poo, or is it, like, a sort of mix between the two of them? I think it's more Sarah, because I don't see, like, older Max saying that, but maybe, you know, the regression going back into the past might be him. It's hard it was to kind say. of a child at heart. I don't know, it's kind of bizarre, because it seems like we're, we're Max's... Max's mind. <laughs> Your ugly cousin. The, that's that's terrible. Come on, Sarah. Oh. 
foreshadowing. Oh, well, not really, because you kind of already sort of know. Yeah, the explanation we already know. But you, you see his backstory. And <gasps> a doctor! No! Doctor. I don't know why she gasped at that. Maybe it's Max saying like, Oh, right, I was supposed to be a doctor. Something like that. Right. So maybe all his reactions are like him remembering something. That's why the apparitions always made him go like, <gasps> so, so, so I'm missing something? Is there a key to the story here? Yes, there is. I just have to go upstairs and grab it. Uh, this is a really slow segment. That's why I also don't like it as a gameplay area. Yeah. It's it's kind of one of those things where there's a lot of like indie games that would do things like this. Where you know, you'll know you cut out the gameplay, but there will be a lot of story involved. We're pretty much playing Gone Home right now. Oh, right. Oh, uh, shit. Which which one was Gone Home? Gone Home is like um, you you go into an empty house and you try to figure out what happened uh, the, the... with like a certain family based on that. Oh, oh, oh. But it, it's all just interactive story stuff. Yeah, I was actually considering right. uh, getting it, but I was like, uh, hmm, I don't think so. I mean, it might be good. I... I, I like games like I don't know, the, like the Path or the or you uh, know, all, all the I, other ones that like don't have any gameplay. The trains are moving. <sighs> like I don't deny that there's a certain appeal to them. <clears throat> Sorry, a certain appeal to those types of games. It's just probably just not quite my thing, or at least it depends on yeah. how it's done. No, it's that's definitely true, and I, I I get that too. But as a someone who like appreciates writing, I can just I can just separate from the game aspect of it and just say. Is this well written and entertaining? Oh god! Like, <laughs> oh god! Something funny is gonna happen soon. Cause <laughs> oh, you're, here you are remembering this you did a long time ago. Oh, look that mirror. That's the only. That was a weird thing too, because no, none of the nothing else does that in this game, in this part. So I was like, oh, some significance. I gotta is say, that, what was the funny thing that happened, or, or is it still coming? It's it's still coming. I'm gonna try not to interrupt it. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I also noticed something, because like, I was thinking about it, and uh, about what we said in the first part, about how, like, the chapter 2 was the biggest highlight. Oh, here it is. I just find that incredibly funny how she says it, so... Yeah, I, the walls are bleeding. So expect me to actually, like, every time I come by this wall, I actually, like, play around with it, because... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh the my god! Are... <laughs> that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, but yeah. So, uh, although here's the like the depression where it's like watching videos of someone when they were alive. Just take a listen. Oh, I must be found movies. Of uh, the worst home movie ever. Uh, that, that is kind of depressing, though, like, you know, trying to yeah. forget it, but then you do stuff like that to remind yourself of it. Yeah, it's a pretty effective way of uh, showing how, you know, the part, the um, larger conspiratorial plot actually affected Max personally. The, the grand scheme of things. Although I don't know how he yeah, knew... It's a, way for his, it's a way for his more subtle memories to come back is also. I don't know how he knew about that part, though, unless he was listening through the door, which I would have liked to see him, like, hear, like, his apparition appear, like, outside the room, and he quote-unquote heard it, because he wasn't in that scene. Yeah. <laughs> Shame on you, ruining these tender, <laughs> these, uh, emotional moments. <laughs> but let's be honest, some of the voice balls. acting is really fucking funny in this game, and I, and I do enjoy it. Nah, it is, it is. The, and, I, um, and like I said, I enjoy the story aspect in this level. I just hate the slowness of it. Oh, it's How many? Okay, there's another locked door. When did I get a key? I did. I don't know. Oh, I must have picked it up in the room. Sorry, we're not gonna paying attention because we're laughing our ass off at a certain point. But yeah, going back to like uh, episode one of a uh, sanitarium. When you said like chapter two was the highlight of the game, and I have to agree because. Because if you'll notice, like, the levels kind of get more grounded as it goes on in this game. Grounded? Like, it, you know, it, it doesn't seem out of place. Like, uh, I didn't, like, you know, the previous part we were commentating on with the deserted island on the circus. I thought that was pretty, like, eh, that was kind of grounded. It didn't seem, like, very, uh, psych that psychological. Yeah, it was sort of, uh, right, it was sort of just a freak show. And then, the, and then the random giant squid... 
See you in hell, freak. I don't get what's what we're going on with the inside of clock, the the mustache. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's just moving and moving and moving at light speed. Yeah. There All right. Go, six o'clock. So six o'clock. I don't know what the dad says to the mother afterwards, because it's like, Hey, honey, it's six o'clock. And she's like, what are you talking about? It's half an hour before. Yeah. But it's, it's like, somehow well, time open. does fly. Oh, jeez. He's, he's a big ghost. Yeah, he's... and and she's pretty for a ghost. And suddenly the door opens. So I go back to the kitchen to check to see if there's any dialogue change. Would have been a nice little detail, but it wasn't necessary. Oh, okay. You just need to get into the room. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that kind of sucked. I, I would have liked it if there was a small detail where he goes to talk to her. How many chairs do you need for a four-person family? Like They've got six chairs at the main table, and they got four chairs in the kitchen. Oh, wow. That's true. Maybe for house guests? I guess. That's but how often are you going to have house guests that, and gonna, that are going to have to eat in separate rooms? <laughs> I guess. So we get the silver key and the VHS I got some home tape. as well. Yes. Guess where we're going next? To the VCR? Yeah. Which nobody uses nowadays except me, because VHS is still relevant enough. Is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I still have, like, some really old, like, some old movies that you can't get today. Yeah. Kind of like how the um, original Star Wars cuts are all on uh Oh, yeah, VHS. VHS. The, the unedited versions. Yes. Or the originally edited versions like someone edited them i've actually seen the original uh cut of it on vhs oh, if only i uh, made a copy of it oh geez i wonder what i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna put the, the home movies in we're gonna watch the home movies it's gonna be very sad no oh my god the walls are bleeding <laughs> okay do so they here... usually bleed up like it seems like it, that's it, it looks more off. like it's going in reverse like his memories are going back so here's a home movie Probably one of the worst ones. For good reasons, but... Dad, this is my secret hiding place. You're not allowed up here. It's not like you paid for this house. I'll turn this thing off if you give me a big hug. Well, okay. As long as you don't tell Max where this is. <laughs> okay, okay. Now where's that big hug? <laughs> Love you, Daddy. Love you too, Pumpkin. Aww. Okay, okay, it wasn't that bad, but it was like, for a home movie, it's only like 30 seconds long, like, what? It's true, I don't know, he was just, he discovered her secret hiding place. Yes, as Max did, although... Not that he would have thought to go upstairs oh, in the first yeah. place, but yeah. Yeah, exactly, so it's like, uh, didn't think too far with that plan now, did you, Sarah? Yeah, I guess he just didn't think to explore the house. Yes, especially the places that you don't enter. But maybe they're in that stage where it's like certain parts of the house are kind of scary because it's dark and nobody goes there. I, I remember those moments maybe. when I was a kid. Oh, jeez, this place. This is such a mess. Yeah, well, yeah, it actually is. Yeah, I like to think that this sequence is Max's adult mind being filtered through like a child's brain. So he knows... And acts a little different than she would, but still is influenced by it. Like, like he, like his mind's regressed from the accident, and he's just kind of going through the motions of it and reaching back yeah. to like where he currently is. Kind of. Man, that's a high jump. Yes, it is. And how high are the ceilings in this place, too? Like, this is. A, I, it's, it looks pretty big. This is I guess. one hell of an attic. Anyways, there was an item I was supposed to grab here, but I think I screwed up and I just, like, left. And then I realized, oh, wait, there was something up here. Huh. One of the chests here is important. Oh, there's there's more than one? Like, everything in this house is locked. And apparently... So here's, here's, what, here's what you mean about the... Here's what I think you could, uh... Make a point about the about the pace. Like, there's so many stinking keys in this in this place. It's like, uh, oh, what's another game? This is almost like a Zelda game with the keys and stuff. Yeah, By the making way, you walk back and forth in this place is a little cruel. Yeah, like this is why it was like just if only there was like a run button or something. Just yeah, it would kind of ruin the pacing of it. But seriously, this is just really annoying after a while. 
If it was just, it was just a slow, <laughs> linear path through, that might have been better. Yeah. Yeah, so, so can I, you actually not unlock that door? Or is that it, or key's not for that door. It was for one of the chests upstairs, and I uh, I didn't think to try the key on it. Yeah, that's... Cause she just I, hate, says, I, I don't like how they, they tell you, like, vague things like that. It'd be nice if there was a specific one for if you tried to use the wrong key. Like, oh that key didn't work. Yeah. That, or, key doesn't fit, that key doesn't fit in this lock. Maybe, it needs, maybe I need to use it somewhere else. Uh, I guess they could have always done the thing like, hey, this looks like the key for the treasure chest, which would be like, what? How'd you know that? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, maybe we... it was her treasure chest. Oh, uh, perhaps. Well, it's not really a treasure chest. I mean, it's in its, it's, 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 it's not, a We're not dungeon crawling here. What? You found it, you found it, you found the thing that unlocks the door. What was... It was a the, little clown doll. What did you pick up? Remember the clown oh. doll in the cutscene before where Max was looking at the box? By yes. the way, this is the attic where that box is, I think, but you don't see that box anywhere. Huh. Oh yeah, so that, bo that box disappears. So Go on. So I'm wondering what on earth this clown doll is going to do for us. Oh! You, you'll be surprised. It actually does something like near the end of this game, which uh, was clever but huh. also kind of hyptic. You'll you'll see when we get there. It's it's kind of interesting in a way, but also uh, all, oh my was, god, oh my god, the walls are bleeding. Yeah, so you suddenly now the now. So suddenly now the doors open. Like oh okay yeah. Oh my god. I had to get that in. <laughs> in between everything. <laughs> Oh a my. chest that says toys look like a toy chest. Thank you, Sarah. I can't believe it has toys. Oh, is that is that Baby Max or No, that's what? Sarah. <laughs> I tried to give her the VHS tape. Hey, here you go. Mr. Clown. Hey, would you like to watch a movie with me? So she's talking to herself sort of, but not really. That's what you should be saying to me right now. I thought it took so long. I thought I let you down when oh, you Oh yes. Me most. No, no. This was a touching moment, I won't lie. But this favorite. next line like <laughs> but this next line I just kind of cringe at it. Or near the things. end of this one. I know you can do it. I love you. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> it came off kind of cheesy, I got to say. Yeah. And then oh, we're, the, and oh then, we're in a new place. Yes. I hope I expect to say my favorite line in this game, uh, Hitman. It's time for me to face the future. Oh, it's this place. Well, yes. By the way, board puzzle. Yes. I have a question oh, here. I have a question here. How did Max get here, anyways? There's no like entrance. Yeah, there's no, there's no obvious entrance to this place. So, so like, you know, I can only like remember when he came back from the pumpkin patch. Like he came through a gate in the reality, and I was like, oh, okay. He was uh. Yeah, well, I don't know this. This game is raising all kinds of strange questions about what's real and what's not, and it seems like Max actually does go somewhere physically, or like, does go somewhere physically when he's having these hallucination missions. So maybe he actually does like is like teleporting around places, and no one can account for where he's been. Okay, well then I guess that would explain a later plot thing that happens with uh, the whole teleporting. Yeah, that's how this insane uh, game thing. Or this, this, you know, game about an insane person. Oh, goes. keep note of that statue just for a little bit of something. It's it's not important, but it's kind of like a, oh, if you pay attention, something happens to it. Oh, I bet, I bet it like changes position or something. Where do I know him from? Oh, memories inducing. Oh, so some more memories coming back. It's like a impressive, isn't it? Navy yeah, captain. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's, um, visiting my mother. She's mm -hmm. been feeling run down lately. I'm, I'm so pretty sure that's also, uh, oh. Morgan, too, when they it's were Dr. younger. Morgan's we should be going father, then. Yes. I wasn't expecting you. Kingpin. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Jacob Morgan. Instead, I find you here. What a voice. Wasting valuable time. I'm 
more than prepared for the finals, Father. You need to be concerned. I'll this is to give us a little bit of like a uh, feel bad for uh, Morgan because his father is, is one of those like, oh, I gotta be I tough on you, and you gotta be that. tough on everything else. Anyone can do fine. I yeah. don't want you to be just like every other student at medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jake. What a loving father, father of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Well, maybe he's doing it out of love. Keep seeing tough things. love. He just wants him to be better. Huh. Wants him to be all that he can be. Stronger than before. Wants him to be the change that he wants to see in the world. Uh, so it looks like I grabbed something out of the painting or shook tank. Turn huh. on the radio. Radio. What's, What's going on with that radio? radio? <laughs> we had the same thing. Well, there's no hope anymore. The hope drug. <laughs> what kind of news? Today, if the world wards, wards the sad loss of many, many children as the hope drug begins to fail. What kind of newscast like just plays the same line over and over again? Was it on repeat? Is the world in I, devastation? I, I think there are just many news channels that are all playing the same clip. Every time Max apart. turns it on? Yeah, but slightly apart. Oh, so you're saying Max is conveniently turning on in the next chat, turning into the next channel that conveniently is saying the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Thing. It's, it's uncanny, really. What convenience? Whoever built this. Oh, that's strange. I could have sworn the statue did something, because... Yeah, that's, that's the way Oh, it's bleeding. It's bleeding its, uh, through its eyes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a way they can mess with you in games, is, like, change background details that you might not notice, but if you do notice them, it gets really creepy. Oh, like in Spec Ops, when in the in the mall, like, one of the uh, statues... Yeah, one of the, one of the statues, like, points a gun at the other, but you don't... But it, it just, like, briefly flashes and then goes back to the way it was before. I wonder what it controls. Yeah, I actually, I, I'm not sure if I triggered it when I was doing it in my playthrough of it, but I, I did try to look at it. Doesn't seem to be working. You must need power first. So this this what section is also really short, especially if you know the answer to uh <clears throat> the chalkboard puzzle. The riddle, yes. Or the word puzzle. That goddamn chalkboard. Yes. When and you came up with the greatest line during it too that I yeah, well, will never forget. I, okay, well I guess we'll get to that when the yes. chalkboard actually comes. But um What kind of contraption is this, by the way? I don't know, but it's to open the gate, and it makes no sense at all. So you're telling me okay, everyone... So what we need is to fill this air, fill this thing with fluid, and then make this thing light up, and then make a rotating electromagnet move that makes this thing spill liquid. No, it's to release this ball, which uh, in itself doesn't make any sense. This this puzzle isn't too hard. It does take a little bit. But you're supposed to release the steel ball, which... Uh, you gotta, uh, like yeah, oh, I see what uh, you have to do. You have to unlock the locks. Right. And I didn't realize that you can actually turn both ways, so like I was pressing only one side, and I was like, oh, I gotta turn all the way over here and there. I need to finagle it because Damn. Um, only, Damn. Three, only three of the spokes are actually active. Yes. Because one of them's broken, because otherwise this would be a little too easy. Yeah, you could just turn it once and then we've done. Or twice. Well, you know, you, you hit it once, and then you turn it again, and then and it's done. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 you're right, but, you know, I, I, when I said twice, I meant, like, you had to turn it, t like... Oh, wait, no, you only need to turn it once. Never mind. Right, so it made, it, it made sense in my head. Right. The... I'm, I'm not seeing how you're getting any closer to solving this, but... Oh, actually, no, I see it now. Like, I do eventually solve it, because if I didn't, if I was having trouble solving it, I would have sped up the video. Of it. I, th I oh, thought right you could have solved it back there. What? I just I thought you could have solved it back there by just turning it to the right side, but no, it looks like you got it now. Nope, there's just a couple of pieces. Oh, there's another pin. I see. I see it now. And then I, f I figure it out by doing this, and we solved it. Huh? So you need a giant like wrecking ball that goes in to open that, the like, door. That, like, shoots down this metal thing that, like, smashes into the side of the building and causes so, the gate to go so, up? So, so who, who, who actually has to refill that every time they want to get into this place? I don't know. Or every time they want to lock it. God, it looks like a slaughterhouse. Yes, it does. Horrible experiments and shit. Oh, so that's why. He's, he's like, you know, no one's ever going to figure out how to get in here. 
course, I mean, you could just look through the gate and see that there were, like, horrible dead bodies in there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Damn. Here, Damn. Let me help you. Good thing that's not acid or anything. Yeah, why would you... Is the key, Max. Why wouldn't you just, like, Never put that in the sink or whatever? Mm, the floor you know, must be getting dirty. <laughs> I don't believe you. You won't either. I wasn't either. always this brilliant. I watch my lab test constantly, but I stuck with it. Learn from my so did Jacob become like his mentor nice. now? I thought they were like friends or something. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. We still have a lot of work. It looked like they were the same age in the other one. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> so we come to this part of the game. And George, if you can uh, say the greatest line ever said here. Who would butcher these people like this? Oh, like like no, like the line we said when we were playing this. Like, no, but I mean like. Yeah, his delivery is like Shatner ask here. Who would? Who butcher would butchered? These? People like hmm. this. Christopher Walkins, in the Ripper. Yeah, not. The local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here in the asylum. Ooh. How are they ever gonna get up here, the local authorities? <laughs> That's a good question, but I guess they have helicopters. I got it. Where are they gonna land? I got, no, I guess they're gonna go down like little on like little ropes from the helicopter. Yeah, rope ladder. Dr. Morgan, uh, yeah, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? That's the third time this week. What? what do you mean? Uh, I mean, maybe... Spare me your insight. You're pathetic. A man cannot vanish into... Huh. Oh, oh, so it appears that Max is vanishing. Get this wretch out of here. He's too damn old for my purposes. Oh, God, I almost said something terrible right here. I'll find him myself. Yeah, but what about this stuff? Uh, shouldn't we ought to clean up here? I mean, before the inspection. I mean, I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Looks like I mean, they, they didn't. disemboweled the bodies here. I mean, we we, we should have cleaned this place up. But you I know guess... OSHA's gonna have stuff to say about that. Oh God, it's terrible. Was that just a human skeleton in there? Yeah, it looks like it, but you know, it's not haunted house like. Although it looks very haunted house like. Thinking? Okay, so now another kind of obtuse puzzle. Security system on this. Yes, yeah, a very ugh. I. I this puzzle, man. And you don't know what to you don't know what to uh what to say now for good reasons. I, and okay, I don't know so how much. Shall we? Hmm? Shall we explain this puzzle? Yes, because I don't know how Max actually knows this puzzle. By the way, just to note, I could have gotten some of the clues while he was reading it, but I uh, decided to actually just let this play out. Yeah. It's just a basic cipher. Evil. Where the first letter of every sentence, How can I trap or well, yeah, like, the yeah. first letters of each sentence hides the um, hides the, secret, hides a like um, scrambled phrase. Yes, I don't know how. I'm pretty sure somewhere in this room, like uh, Morgan actually brings that up and says like, "There's a secret somewhere here," but I still don't know how Max would technically know this. Maybe he just knows Morgan well enough to know that he would hide things like this. You know, now that I think about it, if only like in a flashback, like they both like created this little encrypted thing and you'd see it. That'd be kind of neat. But uh, thankfully the game actually does something where if you put your hand over the letters, it will change the icon. So yeah, I don't, so I don't know right. how he, um, whatchamacallit, I, I don't know how Max intuits that like the way they're actually... Or he actually intuits how the um the letters are going to be arranged. Yeah, he also just like because he'll say like uh huh when he solves it, and you might be like, wait, what if it's not right? I mean, granted, your yeah. the way you inserted it. Like, so this is, is the, the one that actually possible. gave us trouble. This this board because we we managed to solve the other puzzles. Yes, and wait, wait, I want to say one thing. Rescrambling the words. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Niall. Yeah, <laughs> we 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 were we're trying to enlist help to solve the puzzle, so we gave. We gave the scrambled letters to a friend of ours, and he just looked. He actually just somehow found and looked up the solution for us. Cause here's the thing: it's kind of <laughs> we like, didn't want to do that. We just wanted his help. Uh, like, it meant, like here's how like it was supposed to work out. Like, it's like if we gave one of our buddies and friends like a riddle book, and it's like, oh, quiz us and stuff. Cause someone has to know the answer, otherwise, you know, one of us would have to be spoiled, and you know, the question becomes pointless. So yeah, so he he just sort of. He just, he just told us the answer. Solution. He he didn't give us hints or anything. He's just like, oh, here's the answer, and we're like, fuck. We're like, well, and that's it. That is right. But yeah, the um, there was a certain pattern 
that we had established before. Because in these, the um the phrase always makes sense. Like it's all, it was it was always either one word or a phrase that you could understand. But the the third one is the one with three three words. It's just it's just random. Yeah, that uh, was it was really tricky. Like words. Oh, if, if some of you English majors may not find it that difficult. Uh, we're not saying it's that difficult, but sometimes it's just like it screws uh -huh. you. Yeah, over. no, I definitely figured out. I definitely figured out two of these on my I own. But the the well, I figured out the, one of them. The third one, the first one, was uh, a little harder. Did we figure out the youth one? I think yeah, I, 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 I think we did. I figured that one. I think you might have figured out the salvation one. Which yes, is this, yes, but. it's this one. Because also here's the other thing you might like at the time we don't know how many letters there were in the word so we might try and be, be trying to solve the thing but not sure how many letters there were still left yeah this is a good puzzle I like it it's um <sighs> to a degree I do uh, I like I like the puzzle because um there's no like insane logic required for it there's no not entirely it's something anyways. you have to keep working out or it's like not like bizarre puzzle logic Right, it's, some, it's something you keep, you have to keep, just keep at to figure it out, and keep, like, trying different things. Like, it has some common sense in it, right? Like, where it's like, oh, okay, I just need to unscramble this word, and then do yeah, something it's like with a, it. It's like a Sudoku puzzle, you know? Like, you, you have you have everything you need oh, to, to figure it out. It makes me, it makes me think of the later, the later, uh, puzzles that, you remember back, uh, in the first part, I was saying, like, how the puzzles, like, at first they were really good, and this, this is actually one of the hardest puzzles in the game. But yeah. after this, the puzzles get really, really easy. Yeah, this is salvation. Kind of, kind of like in a sad way. So we have salvation, the youth, and then and here then, is uh, we won't say it. We'll just let it play out. We'll, we'll let it play out. Yeah. So yeah, I remember the. So we're gonna talk about my line because we were because we were actually trying to solve this puzzle together. We were on Skype yes. together, uh, way back when, and trying to figure out, you know, what the solution was, and then we would share the solutions with each other. And like brainstorm things. Oh, here it is. But yep. Uh -huh. Solution that key hides two. Okay. Yeah. So the line. So yeah, when we we were trying to solve this puzzle, I thought back to the advertising for the game, which said that there was like dozens of hours. So. <laughs> Excuse me. Dozens of hours. So I was uh, I was re reminded of like apparently they they're supposed to be like dozens of hours of gameplay in this game, which I don't think they're actually true. It's not. But but when we were going on this puzzle, I was like, you know what? This is probably where they where the those dozens of game hours of gameplay actually those come eight from. hours this of gameplay puzzle. come it's from. It's this puzzle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So youth hides the key to salvation. That was the secret. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the that was the phrase. And it seemed like I was wrong. I guess uh, Morgan didn't say anything about it hiding the puzzle or how how you were supposed to solve it. But you know, whatever. We've seen weirder shit here. And, and what is this, Mike? Uh, Alien Three with Ridley. Two fetuses. I mean. Yes, fetuses. Cause youth. God. And this guy did what my sister just did right now, huh? sneaking up behind me, minus the whacking me in the back of the head. Uh, I, was, I was expecting to hear a thwap. Oh crap! Crap. There you are. Been wandering again. You know you can't come in here. I uh, um. We've been through this. I uh, I, I um. If you ever want to get better, you have to. Let Anyways, yes. Yeah, so this part is ending soon. These uh. These two chapters were relatively fact, short. But this work is going to help so many people. He looks really awful in this in these scenes. Yeah, his face actually reminds me of like uh Deadpool's. Uh, face in uh, the new Deadpool movie, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Huh. Oh, normally he wouldn't be. Normally he wouldn't hold someone like that, but unless you are some Goro Cyclops. And apparently we are. Yes, yeah, another hallucination. I don't know why the frame rate did that there. Yeah. So yeah, that's that part, so... Stay tuned for next time when we uh, go to the blah, 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 the Grog comic. Yep, as you, you've probably seen on um, 
as you've probably seen on Max's walls and you know various other yes, things. Yes, hinted at uh, early on, and don't forget the um, what was it? That thing early on in the asylum where they mention uh, bugs and machines. That's yep. where this comes in, which was pretty neat. All right, well, stay tuned for that one. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope you'll continue keep to keep watching. This is Wizard World 100 and Hitman. And yeah, you're the viewers and we're the commentators. Oh my god, the walls are bleeding.